It has been quite a day of epiphanies, and I have no idea if there's a special reason that is, or if it's just timing for me. But I'll probably be sharing them with you because I don't believe that when we make discoveries, we should keep them to ourselves. If they can help other people heal, it's not right in my way of thinking to keep them as trade secrets. So I'm going to let you in on the discovery I made today. And it has to do with body positivity struggles. In other words, body negativity, I guess you would say. I have done a lot of personal work over the last several years. And I'm finally to the place I can say that I like myself and love myself in most aspects. But I have continued to struggle with loving my body or how I look. I know where the struggle started. And I just have not been able to figure out how I can heal this. It has caused a lot of frustration for me. Trust me, I have asked the divine many, many times to help me, and I guess it's just something that comes to us when we are ready. <sighs> so today I was once again frustrated over something. Honestly, at this point, I don't even remember what got me going. But I was like, please help me figure this out. Oh, I know what it is, because I have this dream of having a spiritual healing center out in nature. And I have this feeling that I can't really do this. I mean, not only because there's no funding, but until I have achieved success in the things I want to help other people heal. I mean, people that are just saying, do this, do that, and they haven't accomplished it themselves are just blowing it out their ass. And I don't want to be that kind of person. So I was talking to the divine and saying, you know, I need your help. I know I've asked many times, but I'm going to ask again. I need your help because I can't figure out how to heal this. I want to quit looking in the mirror and seeing myself through my mother's critical eyes. I don't want to look at myself with my eyes because my eyes have been influenced or tainted. Because I can't look at myself through my own eyes. They're always through that mother lens. And then just out of my mouth came, I want to look at myself with my heart. And I thought, well, that doesn't make sense. But then my spiritual team piped up. Well, you do realize that your heart doesn't have eyes. So your heart isn't going to see your physical body. And I was like, yeah, that's right. That certainly solves one issue. And your heart doesn't have ears. So it's not going to hear all those negative thoughts that you allow to go through your brain. It's not going to hear that bit of an ego that's so mean to you. I was like, yeah, that's right. That solves another issue. And my team went on, which means your heart is only allowed to feel you. Your heart won't be using the mirror at all. If you want to see yourself with your heart, what's your heart going to experience? Wow, I had to think about that. The only thing left for my heart to experience is my essence, my spirit, my light. And I realized then I don't have a problem with any of that. I don't judge any of that as negative. So I wanted to pass that on because... If you have body image issues, it may be worth your while to stop yourself when you're being critical 
and say, wait a minute, I'm not going to look at myself with my eyes. I'm going to look with my heart. And that may change things for you. I'm hoping it will for me. I'm kind of starting a campaign today so that when I am getting on myself with negativity or criticism, I can remind myself. I'm not seeing myself with the part of me that I want to be seeing myself with. And maybe in a few weeks, you know, that 21 days to break a bad habit and build a new healthy one, I'll be able to report some progress. If you want to try it with me, I'd love to have you along and I'd love to hear how you're doing. Because to me anyway, this seems key. So let me know.